Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you are doing great. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can create a virtual environment using the virtual ENB Python package. In last video, I used Python's inbuilt VENB module which is a subset of this particular virtual ENV Python package and that is only available after Python 3.3 version. So let's say you want to do something which has which needs the Python version 3.2 for example you cannot use the VENV module and not only that but here they have mentioned that VENV is slower and there are other things also and it is not upgradable via PIP and all these things. There are many ways to create the virtual environment but virtual ENV Python package is quite easy to use. So in this video let's see how you can install the virtual ENV Python package and create virtual environments so that you can isolate your projects from other projects or the system packages installed in your computer. Let's get started. I am on the terminal here. So first thing first you need to make sure that you have Python installed in your system. So for that you can just type python3 dash dash version. So I have 3.10.4. So if you don't have Python installed you need to have that and that is crucial part because we are using Python package virtual env so we need python if you don't have it I have created a video earlier about py env which allows you to install any version of python easily in your system please refer to that video and you also need to have pip installed python when we install python there is already a pip but just to make sure let's say that we have pip also installed in our system okay great now we have both of these installed we can install the virtual env python package by the way there is a website called pyp so here you can search any python project as it says here that the python package index pyp is a repository of software for python programming languages so you can just type here let's say virtual env and you can see that there is this virtual env you can just copy this command and go back to your terminal and just paste here and then it will install it for you so it says the requirement already satisfied because i have already installed this in my system so to check it if it is there you can type virtual env version so yeah there is already there let's clear the screen so now we need to let's create a project mkdir words name virtual we can go inside virtual now let's create a, a virtual environment to do that this is just simple like you can just type virtual env that is the name of the package and you need to provide the name and the easiest way and the recommended way is just type venv and if you type virtual env dot venv it is and if you do ls there is nothing because it is hidden file if you do lia you can see that this dot venv is being created for us and now it is not activated we need to activate the environment for that you can just type source dot and if you type tab it will show you the recommended you can type venv inside there there is bean folder and inside there it is activate so if you run this the virtual environment is now being activated and you can see dot v e and v in front of this terminal command so we are ready to go now so this whatever we install now only resides in this particular virtual environment let's clear the screen let's say that i want to install flask install flask so it is going to install flask for me so if i do now peep so it will okay i need to provide the package peep so flask it is going to show me the flask and the version i have here so if i also want to see what are all the packages that are being installed in this particular virtual environment i can just say peep list and it will show all the packages here so these are the packages that are installed in this particular virtual environment 
just to show you how it differs from the all the packages that are installed in your local system you can do deactivate for now to deactivate the virtual environment and now we don't have virtual environment activated right so if you do pip list it is going to show you all the packages installed in your system so this is the difference how it is being isolated from your virtual environment and from the system packages so you get the idea so now let's again go and get the virtual environment for that it's just the source dot v e n v bean and then activate it's activated so now let's say that you want to share this with other peoples you need to create or you need to make these packages in a requirements.txt for that you can just type peep freeze and you can give this greater than arrow sorry and then you can just write requirements.txt you can give any names but this is the one that mostly people used and if you do ls there is now requirements.txt so then if you go what is inside the requirements.txt there are all the packages that are being installed in this particular virtual environment so you can share this project and then other people can install just this particular versions of packages in their system so there is no conflict between your project which you do in your system and the one that other people also uses in their particular machines first they need to also create the virtual environment that you just created and install so to install what they can do is pip install dash r and just the name of the file requirements.txt and if you type enter it says already satisfied because we already have this so it will be all installed there and we are ready to go so yeah this is that simple and i highly recommend you to use virtual environments in any of the python project you work because it will save you a lot of time later if you need to debug that particular project due to the dependency conflicts so yeah this is all for this video thank you for watching and see you in the next one